physical properties of alkanes and cycloalkanes. So kita akan bincangkan daripada segi physical state, boiling points dan juga solubility bagi alkanes dan cycloalkanes di dalam video ini. So pertama sekali kita tengok daripada segi physical state at room temperature and atmospheric pressure untuk unbranched alkan. Okey, alkan yang ada 1 karbon hingga 4 karbon dia wujud sebagai gas. Alkan yang ada 5 karbon hingga 17 karbon wujud sebagai liquid dan alkan yang ada karbon more than 18 dia wujud sebagai solid. So kita tengok second physical properties iaitu boiling points. Kes yang pertama kita tengok apabila stretch chain versus dengan stretch chain. So when we look at the alkene, the greater the number of carbon, the larger the molecule. So bila molecule tu lagi besar, surface area in contact pun akan jadi besar dan the van der Waals forces of attraction is become stronger. Therefore more energy is required to separate molecules from one another, resulting a higher boiling point. Next case is when stretch chain versus branch chain. Chain. This is happens when uh, the alkanes are iso isomeric to each other. So the branches will make the molecule become more compact. Therefore, the surface area in contact for the branch chain are being reduced, and the branch alkanes will have a weaker van der Waals forces of attraction. Therefore less energy required to separate molecules from one another resulting a lower boiling point for branch chain alkene Sebagai contohnya di sini kita ada comparison of boiling point of butane and 2 methyl propane So the number of carbon atom atom is the same so meaning to say butane and 2 methyl propane are isomeric alkene but they are arranged differently So as we can see for butane there the surface contact area is larger than the 2 methyl propane. So when the surface contact area is larger, meaning to say the van der Waals forces is greater. So more energy is required to separate butane molecules from each other, causing the butane boiling point is higher than 2 methyl propane. Next, with looking into the third case when alkene versus cycloalkene okay so the cyclic molecules actually can get close together because the ring structure makes them tidier and less wrinkly so closer molecules mean stronger intermolecular forces therefore more energy is needed to break the bond thus the cycloalkenes will have a higher boiling point than the corresponding stretch chain alkenes so let's take a look at example 3. For each of the following pair, pairs of compound, select the substance which you expect to have the higher boiling point. Explain. So kita diberikan octane dan juga nonem. So the first thing that you must do is to write the structure, to draw the structure. And then when we look closely, octane will have add carbon and nonem will have non carbon. So because nonem have higher number of carbon, meaning to say nonem is larger than octane, Therefore, it will have a higher boiling point. Kenapa? Okay, so there I already show you the explanation needed if you are asked to explain this type of question. And let's take a look at example 3B. You are given octane and also 2233 tetramethyl octane. So the first step we need to do is to draw the structure. And from the structure, we can see that the number of carbon atom for these two structure is the same which is at carbon. Tapi bezanya adalah satu dia stretch chain, octane is a stretch chain and 2233 tetramethylbutene is a branch chain, branch alkene. So we need to say in this case, these two structure is isomeric alkene. So kita kena bandingkan dia stretch chain versus branch alkene. So this is the explanation regarding to this question. Finally, in terms of solubility, we know that alkanes are non-polar molecule. Therefore, it is unable to form hydrogen bond with water. So meaning to say alkane is insoluble in water. 
and we describe alken as hydrophobic. But alken is soluble in non-polar solvent. So non-polar solvent ini dia adalah organic solvent lah. So example of non-polar solvent are toluene, benzene, carbon tetrachloride, chloroform, and and the other hydrocarbons.